Good evening, tight liners, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Seems a long time since I spoke to you last. Um, it's not through the lack of trying, guys. I have been out fishing, um, taking gaps in cold storms that we've had recently. But unfortunately, guys, the fish were not playing, and um, well, there just wasn't any content for you to see. It's Friday night, guys, and that only means one thing. Friday night match, Winnie's Worms. We're on Kemlin Beach. Um, the plan was to be fishing on the breakwater, but uh, high winds again makes it a little unsafe to go. Today, Kemlin is fishing seven, uh, ten past seven, first place. They two of them down, both with. Blow look, fantastic blow look by the way, guys. Dug by Winnie himself. Anyway, we've been here before, guys. Chances are we'll see lighting. Might be a chance of a flatfish or two. Dogs, pouts, poor cods, silver eels, conquer eels. I've got my other two rigs ready as well. I've got a two up, one down, and I've got a Portsmouth loop rig on the other one. Uh, I'm going to play around with the baits to start with. Like I said, I've got blow lock on both now. And then on another one there now, I've got uh, on a three hook clip down. I've got sand deal, rag worm, and blow lug. Just to find out what's working, and then on the blue rig, I've got two bits of um, sand deal. Uh, the baits that I have got as well is um, squid. I got a little bit of bluey. I've got some herring and mackerel. I'll be trying everything I can to can fish. Or two. Hopefully, bag a big one. So anyway, I'll get back up there now, watch the rods. And if there is anything, I'll sauce now with Vella Rarva, with Oif and Dolph. Right guys, so the plan is check the bait every 20 minutes. I'm not sure, there might have been a couple of little traps there, I'm not sure. The wind is coming over our heads here. So it's coming off the bank there. It's probably hitting the top of the rod. Maybe just drop the rod down a little bit and see what happens. See if that'll protect it a bit more. So, hope you're all keeping well, guys. Like I said, the fishing's been a bit tough the last few, the last three sessions I've been out. Um, I hope to God I don't blank tonight, but I am bringing you this video tonight, whichever happens, guys. Um, yeah, so I fished with Steve Lewis um, one evening, um, on Thursday evening, and uh, fished at a local spot, which usually produces very good fish for both of us. We had six rods out between us. He had some fantastic black lug, fresh. I had some nice ragworm, and not a bite. So I went back to the same venue again on the Sunday morning, fish over high. And again, no bites again. Wednesday night this week, I went out to a local beach, not Trelle Bay. And uh, anyway, surf conditions were fantastic. There was no weed. And you thought, fantastic, guys, this is going to be a good session. But not a single bite, and the baits are coming back untouched all night. 
And then there were reports then on Wednesday night, lots of people had gone down to Trader Bay and the same thing was happening there. Um, so anyway, that's where we are. Doing all right. Keeping well. But just no fish. Let's hope that changes tonight. So we've baits have been in the water now 18 minutes. I'll give another couple of minutes. I'll show you my rigs as we go along. I haven't noticed any action up and down the beach yet. I've been drawn on peg number nine today. There's ten of us fishing. So to my left is Frank who won it last time. And to my to my right is that retro bait K White. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, so the usual guys are here. <clears throat> guys don't forget, if you keep watching and uh, keep uh, looking at Winnie's Worms web, uh, Facebook page. He puts it up on the earlier in the week, what's happening, and uh, it's you're very, very welcome to join us. Uh, it's £15, um, £2.50 for each pool. Tonight the pool is longest waiting and longest other fish. So hopefully we will see plenty of waiting. I see the first fish coming up to K there now. I believe that's, I don't know, is it David Perry? Yeah, I think it is. Right, it's almost time for a beach, eh? See if you keep watching the dogs for me, guys. Right, first bait check then guys. 20 minutes on the clock already. Right. Not a lot of activity on that one, to be honest with you. Right, what I think I'll do now is I'll put a loop rig out with a sand deal. I'm going to put this one out a little further. In fact, I put that out a lot further. <laughs> that seemed to work last time, putting it out of distance a little bit at the beginning anyway. Right, let's put this one down, let's rebait the other one, and let's just hope that this one will bring me a fish. No, I'm a cut it. Right, guys, time for the second check now. Frank just caught another one there now. He had a double shot first cast, he had a double shot the second cast as well. However, one came back, only the head. Now, uh, there we the other side of K, he's had a couple of fish now as well.
Nice. Bit off the mark. Nice waiting. Right. No blank session tonight then. Trace for that. Right, another beat out there. So that's the sand deal. <laughs> Okay, so that went 28 centimetres, so, so far is the biggest one I've seen. And there's a ray come in there. There we parry on the ray, I think. Yeah, there we parry on the ray. Nice one. So they're here, brilliant stuff. Sandhill baits going out all night now. Normal to dig. Right, guys, so the tide's coming in quite fast now. Um, so I've had that one fish, Kay still had nothing yet. He will in a bit. Frank's on five fish now, 91 centimetres. They're very small for him. Luckily, which keeps me in contention. Davies had that ray and a couple of a couple of um, biting. And he dropped a dog. And I've just seen up there now that Steve Lewis has had a uh, another, another ray as well. I know that Winnie's had a dog and a waiting down there. Anyway, I'll see some not black skin. Right, I said I'd show you another rig. This one is a Portsmouth Loop rig. So I got a sand deal on both of them. This is what I caught that. Um, so what you got obviously is you got your loop and you got your both baits close together because that one was for that extreme range. Yeah, that might be a bit Right, so I'm hoping that if there are rays out there, that it will pick up the sand deal. The one I've got out there now has got uh, three hooks, a sand deal, with a bit, of, a bit of worm on them as well, really. It beats sitting in the house, and uh, yeah. Still plenty of time to go yet, it's now just gone quarter past eight. We're here until eleven. High water around about half past eleven. Right, let's go and catch some more fish. Give this bait another couple of few minutes, in about five minutes, maybe. See no action on it. Yeah, like I said earlier, well, there's definitely rays here, we've seen that now. Frank had half a fish come back, he had two waiting on, and one was just the head. So it could have been Neil, I suppose, because there's plenty of them here as well. Just makes me think, do I put a bigger bait out looking for them or do I just carry on scratching like I did before when I had that bait here. I know that the boys down there will be scratching and they've got rays. So anyway, Kay, he's done 15 minutes with a big bait and then he goes for scratching and then he goes big bait for scratching. Big bright moon out there tonight, so okay, so see if I can swing you around to see that. Whether we can see it or not. Big bright moon. There it is. So 
Those are the kind of moons that I used to call the Whiting Moon. They're not here in numbers yet. Two dogfish wouldn't go and miss now. Lots of small weighting in there, like I say, French got five fish, but still only got 91 centimetres. Five decent weighting should get you well over it, but four decent weighting should get you over a metre. Another match next Sunday, guys, on the breakwater. One of um, Anglesey Match Anglers match. I won't be filming in that one. They've uh, respectfully asked them not to be involved. So, that's that. But, uh, there's no doubt that I'll be out again in the week. The K's off now. He's done quite a few shifts recently, and he's got a few. So, hopefully. Get out in the week. Can't believe it's February next week already. Right, let's bring this one in, see if there's a Been on that one again, good. Let's try. Look, Right, guys. Let's break this next one up again now and uh, see what happens.
I may need to scale down a bit of the hooks. I'm using size 2, but do I go size 4? It's not a pretty place. Okay, second fish there now, another weighting, 20 centimetres, takes my car to 48 centimetres. There we just landed another thorn back and a nice weighting there now as well. Frank just had another shot of weighting up there. So, fish around. That last one took a worm and tiny bits of heading. This rig guys, nothing special, just a two hook lift down, like I said, I have a bit of worm and a bit of heading on there, something similar to this one here, there you go, like that, anyway, let's get this one beat up again, so I've got three hooks out there now, Sandfield on all of them. No, sorry, Sandy on two and a bit of heading on the other. Kay's into a good fish here, guys. Don't know if you can see that. So a nice ray there for Kay. He'll come over in a bit and show us. Yeah, guys, here's Kay. A nice 72 centimetre thumb back. Plus an array off Kemlin as well, eh? Yeah, I've given up with the uh, scratching rigs. The guy next to me is on two and a half metres, so <laughs> stuck a big bait out, and that's the result. I'm not complaining. Nice one, Kay. Thank you very much. Right, let's get back on there. Let's see what we can get. So I've got a, a Portsmouth loop rig out again there now. Um, yeah, sandy on both. Let's see if I can get one. Not much of it. Right guys, so still only that two fish for me. So, like Kay did there now, he put a big bait out. My next one's going to be a double sand eel as well on an up and over. A trusted up and overs. Um, after that, I might try the up and over with a whole load of ragworm on it because there we had a cold year earlier. Um, anyway, I'm going to bring this one in now and see what's what. Normal to do. Guys, so I've uh, put that uh, um, up and over out there now with a double sand deal looking to get a thumb back. And look at that, guys. The smallest thumb back that I've seen for a very long time. I did see a couple like this. Last year with Aid on a rock map on the other side of the island. But look at that guys, perfectly in miniature thornback ray. Still not putting my fingers anywhere near a bloody mouth, but there you go. Thornback ray in miniature. <laughs> right, let's get it measured, because it still counts. No mukhatik. I feel a lot better now that I've caught a few fish. A three fish, I know it's not a lot. I know I'm not going to win this match on that kind of performance, but after the last three sessions, at least getting back amongst the fish, I know not a but still amongst the fish, it's still better than nothing. 
Who knows? You just don't know. Get a good run of dogs, like I did in one match here um, at the start of the Winnie's Worm series. Um, the start of the winter in 23. I was nowhere. I had about three waiting, and then I had about four or three, three or four dogs towards the end, and it got me up to second place. Yes. Things like that can happen and things can change very quickly. I'm not downhearted, I'm having a laugh, um, seen some fish, and as long as I've got a bait in the water, I've got a chance. There'll be better things to come again. Kay and I will get out in the week, won't we, Kay? Won't we, Kay? We'll get out in the week. Yeah. Right, chasing some bigger fish. Oh, hang on, hang on, that sounds good, that sounds good. This is that double sand deal I had on there, guys. Gotta be a fish on. Oh, come on, come off the bottom. <laughs> Pardon? There might be a 49 centimetre this one. Yeah, I do. Can't even get it off the bottom. Yeah, I've got it, got off the bottom now. This feels good guys, this feels real good. Car oh. four, that's for sure. Big glass, that's off, didn't hurt any of these. It's coming towards me, I think. Oh, it hasn't dropped it, has it? No, I haven't got it, no way. It's got to be bigger than the last one. <laughs> is it out there, is it? Oh, yeah, that's a piece of wave. Oh, I come out, came up on the surface a long way out. Yeah, I've got my camera running, Kate. Tail if you can help it. That's a better one. A better one. And that one was going for it as well. Double shot sand deal there. Oh, that's taking that right in as well. I'm feeling better, boys. Uh, yeah, let's do the
not a massive, massive fish, guys, but still a very nice ray to have in a map. Right, I'll in my Whew. Yes! <laughs> I hope you heard the ratchet go off there, guys. Right, let's get this measured. Now, let's get it unhooked first, I think. It's taking it deep, so I'm going to get the disgorges. Wherever put them. There they are. Right, got that in the hook. Right, Frank's coming over to measure some fish, so uh, I'll get this one measured at the same time. No, I'm not it. Right, guys, so 71 takes me up to 151 centimeters. Now I'm feeling a lot better. Right, let's get a photo and get it back. Right, guys, the last two casts have brought me uh, four weighting, three on one and one on the other and it's taken me up now to two metres 42 um, ah, feeling a little bit better about that um, be nice, I've got a double sand deal out there again now um, last time I was doing this and I was speaking to you, it ratchet went off like a, like a mad one um, so hopefully you can see that again now um, yeah, we got but an hour left I just shorter, or just just over an hour left, guys. Like I said, we're out, we're catching fish, and it's not raining. <laughs> anyway, guys, I saw sort of a thriller out of it. Though can do this next fish I get now will take me over two and a half meters. Frank fishing to my left, he's on uh, three and a half meters. What's Davy's card on now? There he's on six meters, fantastic. Anyway, let's bring this one in. I think there's fish on here, guys. Dog. Well, that's 50 centimetres on the card there now, guys.
Why not? Stop, don't catch the JK. Right, guys, that takes that dog six meters just shy. He's on the six meters just shy. You're three meters, guys. Next fish will take me three meters, I think. Well, it has to. <laughs> if it isn't three, if it is the next fish and it doesn't take you three meters, then it's not in size. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, it's a little bit. Too. Two nine, two nine two or something like that, yeah. Two yeah. nine four, whatever it is. Two, two nine two. Right. Yeah, you need eight centimeters. Then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going back to the van for a coffee. <laughs> uh, I normally like this beach, to be fair, but. You've not had the best one today, mate. I came with a tactic. You've, had, that, to you've think... had a nice fish, though. Yeah, I've had a decent day. You know? So don't despair. I mean, oh, no, I'm not despairing. Yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Yeah. Because, uh, no, enjoying it's... yourself, marking people's cards, yeah? Yeah, I've used quite a lot of ink today. <laughs> I've, I've been there before. One side, I've, the been, side. I've been there before as well. Yeah, I've yeah. came with a It happens. Single anyway. up, <laughs> And it's failed me. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You, you it's watch, the tactic that you go for. 70, uh, what would I need? 78 centimetre conger, I'm going to win it. Yeah, well that's all you need, yeah. I hope so, I've got a whole whiting anyway, out now. Whole whiting's gone out for case. Good luck, mate. Anyway, guys, the sauce not a bit better, but I can do. Yeah, there. Hi, I'm Dewey. Brilliant. Well, thanks, mate. I'll be using your Dewey and Dewey. <laughs> Drop me for scissors. <laughs> Yeah, dude, we're done, Steve, again. <laughs> Two weeks, come on a week. Come on, ideal. Okay, so that's the end of another session. But at least I'm back. Um, really enjoyed that, um, to be honest with you. Get back amongst the fish. Um, it was a bit concerning, um, three blanks in a row, um, especially with the places where I've been as well. Um, anyway, congratulations to Dewey on the win tonight and Steve for coming second. Um, longest fish for Dewey as well. And, uh, yeah, brilliant. Uh, so the next match, like Winnie said, in two weeks' time on Llandonna, which could be interesting. Um, it's another one of those beaches that could fish really well or be very, very quiet. 
Anyway guys, so like I said, it was great to be back there amongst the fish. Okay, I didn't get that many fish. Ended on 3 metres 33. Um, ah, yeah, you know what I mean? It is what it is. And uh, yeah, got a nice ray. Um, I hope that, that footage has come out well. And uh, we'll be out in the week, if not over the weekend again now. Um, looking for more species to add to the 14 I have already. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, um, coming along with us again tonight. Um, like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed being out again. And uh, if you did like what you've seen, please hit the like and subscribe. There are better sessions to come, I'm pretty sure of that. So until the next time, guys, keep your lines tight.